So how does this even happen? Look at this thing. It is stuck in there. Not coming out. What the heck? Okay guys, so that two minutes of video you just watched in real life was uh, five, six hours of boring stuff you guys didn't want to watch, but that's what we got to do to get to the fun stuff. That's the reality of YouTube. And another reality is somewhere in the neighborhood of 70, 80% of my views come from non-subscribers and the views are getting good watch time. So that means a lot of you guys are clicking on these videos, watching them. You're not just saying this guy sucks and moving on. You're actually watching them, enjoying them, and uh, just not hitting like and subscribe and commenting. And that kind of sucks for me. So some of you guys can do that. It'd be much appreciated. But I'll show you what all that boring work was so we can get on to the fun stuff. It was just plating these lower control arms. If you remember on the last video, uh, I was working on plating them. Got all that done, got them cleaned up, painted. Uh, everything is installed, good to go, looks good. And we also notched for that tie rod. So we got all that done. And another tip is uh, move the uh, adjusters to where the bolt is down, and that'll give you a little bit extra clearance. But like I said, we've got it all buttoned up so we can move to the fun stuff, but yeah, just do me a favor. You guys who enjoying these videos, just go ahead and hit subscribe, uh, like, don't be afraid to comment. It would definitely uh, help us out. So let's get to work. All right, beautiful. You ready for the fun stuff? All right, and bring the lube. No. No. All right, I'm just joking. I'll spit on it. But you at least got the dope. Yes. All right, what are you going to do? I'm going to dope stuff. You're going to dope stuff? Yes. All right, we're going to plumb and wire the air ride on this truck? Yes. All right, and it's going to be super simple system. Uh, just four valves, two switches. Make it stupid easy in case you're ever driving this thing by yourself. Uh, there's a chance I can't explain how to fix things on the side of the road. But... We're gonna go ahead, get all this assembled, uh, hung on the tank, and uh, we'll check back and kind of explain what we're doing. Sure like dope, don't you, lady? Yes. I've never seen anybody use as much dope as you do. Nope. But we got it all on there. Uh, I'll explain a little more of what everything is when we go to wire it. But got our pressure switch, uh, just a quick disconnect so we can hook up shop air and blow up, blow up dolls when we camp and stuff like that. And we got our four valves, two for the front, two for the rear, and a gauge, and we're ready to mount this tank compressor in the truck. Uh, I already got all four airlines ready in, so that'll go pretty quick, but we'll get these mounted up and uh, start plumbing and wiring everything. Finishing up, putting the leader hose on yes. and tank compressor 
will be installed and uh, we'll jump to the wiring. All doped up. Good job. Okay guys, so we got the lines ran, uh, tank compressors mounted, and went ahead and teed the fronts together and the rears together. But then obviously each one's run to their own set of valves. Uh, like I said, just four valves, two switches, keeping it super simple. Obviously if you're running eight valves, uh, each bag would be running to their own set of valves, but since we're only running four, we teed them together. So we're gonna go ahead and start uh, wiring some of this stuff up and I'll try to explain some of it along the way, but really not trying to like hide anything. A lot of times, maybe you'd mount this stuff under the bed or the valves a lot of times inside the cab. But to me, I just kind of thought it looked cool back here. It's a work truck. Work trucks are supposed to have stuff in the bed and uh, I thought it just kind of went along with it. So that's what we got. Okay guys, just give you a look at what we got before we go any farther. Uh, these red lines, that is for the air gauges. So I just drilled and tapped uh, right into the T and ran this wire, which has four individual different colored wires. Makes it really easy to uh, wire switches. You can get that with four, five, six, seven, eight, however many wires you want in it. But using each color as a power, for each valve, uh, I just teed all the grounds together. Just have it temporarily hooked up to the jump box. We got shop air hooked up, uh, gauges hooked up. Uh, that's just these red lines. They'll eventually run into the cab, obviously, but we'll just give it a shot real quick. But there's the front. Rear and dump. Good job. All right, so we're going to jump over to this side. Got to wire up a pressure switch, a relay for the compressor, and the compressor itself. So we'll get all that in place and uh, check back with you. Okay guys, give you a quick update of where we're at with it. We got uh, this big cable here, ran from the battery back, and it's got a big circuit breaker up front. Then we got this small wire, which is ignition hot. Uh, the ignition hot comes into one side of the pressure switch. Uh, when that switch is activated, sends power back out, down to one side of the relay. All this relay is, is a small switch that controls a big switch basically. So when we get power in from the uh, pressure switch, uh, the small side opens, which opens the big side. We get battery voltage across here to the compressor. Compressor kicks on. Once the pressure switch hits a certain PSI, which this one is 175, uh, it closes, kills power, compressor shuts off. And give you a look up front real quick. Here is that, uh, big cable running all the way back and like i said we got a big circuit breaker on it and that will go to the battery and we got our two gauge lines uh this is the ignition hot that we need to run for that pressure switch that'll go inside the cab along with wires for the switches so i'm going to work on getting those through the firewall inside the cab and uh we'll get that gauge and them switches mount it up and uh, we'll go from there.
Okay guys, so I end up running another wire. Uh, this will be fused off the battery and that goes inside to feed the switches. So I'll show you guys that. So it just comes in, uh, goes into the center prong of one of the switches. Then I just looped it into the other switch. That way they both have battery power. Uh, here is that white wire that has the four for the switches in it. I figured out which one is which, hooked them up, and we got front, rear, So we got everything working how it should. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mount this up. I think I'm gonna go right in the center here. Uh, hey, it's a good place, hides all them wires and everything. We can get them all tucked up in there. So I'll get this mounted up and uh, we'll finish this thing up. All right, lady, you ready to hit some switches? Yes. Yes, hop up in. Oh, gosh. Climb aboard. Er. All right, you see them two switches in there? Mm, yes. All right, one on the left is the front. Don't hit it yet. The other one's the rear. And the, the top of the button is up. Bottom of the button is down. You're already aired up. All right, so we'll start out. Want to air out? No, you always air out the rear first, lady. Oh, yeah. Rookie. All right, hold on. All right, air out the rear. Front. Air up the front. Rear. Look at you, hitting switches. Hitting switches to get the bitches. That's right, all right, air it out, lady. All right, beautiful. We gonna call that a day? Yeah, All right, tell all these dicks they need to subscribe. They're all watching and not subscribing. Subscribe, everybody. Call them dicks. Dicks? All right. See you next time. See you next time.